90s and Y2K styles with a modern twist. I'm Kelly Rettenberger here to share with you a few of my favorites with Paul Mitchell. We're gonna be creating a classic twist with a modern finish. You can have hair as big as your dreams and I'm gonna show you how. Today we'll be working with some of my favorite classics from Paul Mitchell along with some of our newer tools. Let's go ahead and get started. Really essential to start out with a beautiful bodified blowout. What I like to do is address the hairline first, just check and see if she has any colics we're going to need to address. Make sure that any areas that tend to get frizzy are controlled right away. The product we're gonna be starting with today is the Extra Body Sculpting Foam. This is a beautiful foam that really helps add volume and shine to the hair. It's enhanced with panthenol and will give Amanda that chubby feel that we need for this beautiful blowout. I'm really focusing this product at Amanda's roots of her hair. And then I will make sure to comb this product through to get through the mid lengths and ends as well. We're going to address the side panels first. I just noticed on Amanda's hair, she has a bit of those shorter hairs that tend to get frizzy and fuzzy. This will really help control those because I'm working while the hair is still wet. Then we'll move into the top section to get that extra body. And I'll be clipping off these sections as we go for that volume. I'll be working in vertical sections away from the face. Since we're gonna be styling this twist away from the face, it will help push all of those fine baby hairs backwards. So now that we have the side sections clipped off, those hairline hairs have been controlled in the blow dry, it's now time to work into the top section. Elevation is key here. I really wanna be working 90 degrees off the head to get that maximum volume. And again, we're gonna be clipping these sections as I work through to the front. All right, we're on the last section, just going through with my Express Ion Large, and I'm going through with the Neuro Grip. This dryer is a must have for me when I am doing any round brushing because it's so lightweight and it makes it really easy for me to control the blow dry. The great thing about doing this technique is these front sections have had more than enough time to cool to be set in that bodified position. So we can just continue with this style. There's no cool down time. To enhance all of this great texture, we're gonna go through with the Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Undone Texture Hairspray. This is gonna give that rumpled feel to Amanda's hair fabric, and it's gonna create a great base to go through with the style. Now to go in and pin this hair, I've loosely sectioned off these segments again, making sure to elevate that top section back into invisible roller so we don't flatten out the texture. I'm just taking zigzag sections for an organic feel that will really blend in as we go through with this style. I'm back brushing these top sections with a 413 just to get a little bit more volume at the root. To tame any errant hairs, I'm gonna go through with Invisible Wear Cloud Whip. This is my go-to product when I'm working on styles where I have hairline hairs to control, but I don't want an overly shiny feel because the Velvet Flower in Cloud Whip really gives that satin finish. So I'll be anchoring these sections with bobby pins working in a crosshatch motion. These bobby pins will work as a great base for the filler that we'll be putting in. We're gonna be creating custom filler for this look. I'm gonna take a hairnet and some tool that I got at the fabric store to create a beautiful shape to enhance the volume in this style. So we'll just simply scrunch this tool up into the hairnet and you can use as much or as little as you need for each guest. I'm just gonna use this to fill in this twist so that we have all of this length to create beautiful texture. When working with these fillers, I always like to utilize a mirror to be able to see the shape and the balance. And again, I'm gonna take Cloud Whip to control these panels as we twist them back. Working with diagonal forward partings, I'm simply going to run a little bit of Cloud Whip in my hands, and then I will drape and dress these as we go. Using the 413 for that extra volume, for lightweight control as I go through with these sections, I'll also use super clean hairspray. It's important with each section that you go through and smooth down any errant hairs that you have. This will really give a perfect photo finish at the end of your hairstyle. As I come through and drape these sections, any little hairs that are left out, I'll wait and dress those at the very end. And now we're gonna subdivide these top sections. This is another key spot where you want to have a mirror so that you can see the shape that you're building, the volume that you and your guests are looking for. And anywhere I need a little bit more security, but I still want that draped look, I just take a pin behind that section underneath and sew it right in. Now when I'm going through and working on detailing these hairs around the hairline, Cloud Whip again is a great one if you want a little bit of something on your fingertip. And then I go through and give a little ruffle, which just gives it that soft, natural look. You can see how all of the steps we took through the blow dry really set us up for this nice voluminous finish. 
I love a good ponytail, and although it may seem simple, there are definitely some tips and tricks that help get the best finished result. We're gonna be doing two today. One will be a beautiful bodified half up style and a fun sleek pony that I can't wait to share with you. For Ayla's first style, we're gonna be doing a beautiful half up bodified ponytail look. This will be a great way to have a modern twist on the classic ponytail. The first thing I'm going to do is Take a look at Ayla's hairline. We can see here that she has a growth pattern that I'm going to want to address as we blow dry. So a directional blow dry is going to be key and I'll start working on the front after we apply our products. We're going to start at Ayla's base of her hair with the Avapui Well Ginger Hydra Mist Blowout Spray. This is going to add beautiful volume, help reduce frizz in Ayla's hair so that we get a beautiful smooth finish. Continuing on using Fast Form Styling Cream Gel, this is a great product to add control to the hair. It helps speed up dry time. I'm gonna run this through Ayla's lengths. Now to start our blow dry, I'm gonna go through with the 427 paddle brush. This is really gonna help control Ayla's long lengths. We're going to do a directional blow dry away and up from her face. This way the hair will be ready to have a beautiful smooth ponytail result. I'll begin at the front hairline because Ayla does have wavy texture here so that we get a beautiful smooth controlled blowout. Now that we've addressed the hairline, I'll continue with this blow dry and we'll start our ponytail. For a flattering placement of the ponytail, I'm taking an angle from the cheekbone to the high point of the head on each side. Keeping my hand close to the head, I'm taking a covered band with two bobby pins to secure this section at the high point of the head for maximum volume. For extra height, I'm taking another elastic and placing it about a half inch above where the first one was. Before I move on in our style, I wanna make sure that the hairline is very smooth and pretty, and my finishing spray for this style is Extra Body Finishing Spray. It really allows for great volume, but it's still brushable and workable and adds amazing shine. Now that we have our ponytail placed, I'm gonna go through and add some voluminous curl. I'm spraying hot off the press over each section to give heat control and added hold. Going through with the Neuro XL iron gives me added body and bounce very quickly. So here you can see this section will land right over the middle of each of those two from the previous panel. And we'll continue doing this up the head. Now that the curls have cooled, we'll go through with the 413 brush and extra body finishing spray to give a beautiful soft wave. This adds a glamorous modern twist on that 90s style. I'll tease out the base of this ponytail so that we can add extra volume. This ponytail is a great option for your guests because it's so versatile. It can be dressed up or dressed down. I love the loose wave and bringing that into the modern vibe. And now we'll transition from our high glam, high pony into something that combines sleek and wild. We're gonna be creating a beautiful, sleek, pulled back, low ponytail with great texture. We'll begin with Invisible Boomerang Restyling Mist. This will be what I spray at her hairline to refresh and reset as we go through and do a blow dry. And just like last time, we'll be starting at the hairline. This is really all about a sleek, polished, pulled back front of the ponytail. So we're going to address her root area again and get that nice and polished. I'll also be applying Super Sculpt to the base of her hair. This is gonna give us amazing control and shine. With a color brush, I'm applying Super Sculpt just to the base of the hair. This will help give us maximum control and help tame down any errant hairs. Taking care to really address those baby hairs will give us a beautiful, smooth, polished result. Using a comb to distribute that product through, then we're going to take diagonal sections away from the face and blow dry on high heat and low airflow. As you blow dry these sections, use a fine tooth comb to really help gain maximum tension and control that hairline hair. You can see that I'm also using extremely low elevation to keep this nice and sleek as we blow dry. The icing on this cake is the Maverick High Hold Pomade. This has firm hold and high shine to get that beautiful reflective look. I'll take small amounts to work into the hairline, addressing the edges, just really smoothing down this look. This will be really nice and sleek for the front of our ponytail, but I'm going to only do the hairline so that the back can be nice and voluminous. 
Using the same hairband and hairpin technique, we're going to be creating a tight low ponytail. It's key to keep your hand close to the head shape and not to move it so that this way the ponytail will stay tight and centered. And now that we have our beautiful polished ponytail, we'll go through and juxtapose with some wave and expansion. And of course, going through with hot off the press to protect the long lengths. I'll be using the Express Ion Wave Press to add some beautiful wavy texture to the hair. As I go through, I'm taking about half inch sections. This will be dictated by your guest density. You wanna make sure to use small enough sections that you get a beautiful wave and result. Once the sections have cooled, you can take your fingers and gently break apart these sections to enhance the volume. I love the juxtaposition of the wild waves and the sleek front. From smooth and sleek to wild and wavy, this ponytail is such a great look. And again, this is another one that's so versatile, I know you'll be able to use it on your guests. From va va volume to smooth sleek ponies, I hope you've enjoyed today's techniques. I know I've enjoyed getting to share with you some of my favorites from Paul Mitchell. And don't forget to follow Paul Mitchell Pro here on YouTube for future content. Thank you so much. I'm Kelly Rettenberger and I'll see you really soon.